Hello everybody, it's SD Mad Haven here today. And well, yeah, exactly as you guys probably saw in the thumbnail. 8,300 DPM in the Sinlac and the Becky Lynch. So starting off, you know, you can choose between standard or premium. Honestly, doing the uh, two ammo types right here is gonna help you out the most, in my opinion, because it's easier to swap. So all you gotta do is tap A or tap X. Swap to your high explosive round using the advanced loader, advanced reloader, not the loader. Loader, you don't need this. If you want to, you can try and squeeze out a little bit more DPM by taking off the advanced optics and putting on the loader. But I don't see the point of it. Just having the advanced reload on is going to make this absolutely insane and ridiculous. So um, <laughs> let's just jump over to the commander skills. So if you guys do plan on doing this, um, hopefully it's only available for a few days because this is broken right now. Rapid loading, born leader, steady aim, green thumb, Six sense, situational awareness, muffled shot, firefighting, and track mechanic. Uh, the Becky Lynch and the Sinlac, I do recommend firefighting on them. Just because these things are very prone to... Uh, they, they like to cook. There's a couple of moments that these things just... Yeah, they, they like to light up a little bit. Best way to show that off, that entire front right there, that is your fuel tank. So if you're getting shot in the front... Uh, the high chance of being set on fire. It don't matter. <laughs> but, honestly, playing with this tank, doing the things I've done inside this tank as of recent, it, it's just ridiculous. You're able to swap rounds, and beforehand, you had to time it perfectly, and it was really hard to do, and honestly, if you could do it, the chances of it happening... Um, you know, back whenever they first released the advanced reload, it was not that high. But I knew that you could do this originally, but it, it wasn't to this extent. But with the most recent update, the World of Tanks has dropped. It has made the sin lack to where it's based upon a percentage now whenever you swap with the advanced reloader. So whatever percent you have left on your reload and you swap to a different round that has a faster reload, it's going to just increase your DPM. It's... It, it's broken right now, and I kind of want to see it get fixed, or I would like them to bring over the actual Sin Lac high explosive round. So the actual high explosive round on the Sin Lac has 90 millimeters of armor pin, and combined with that, it has an alpha, as I'm having a brain fart trying to remember this, an alpha of 280 damage, which honestly boosted tanks DPM from 2005 up to 3,120. So, yeah, it would be nice to get that increase to the DPM, but honestly, right now, I don't think you need much of an increase knowing that, well, you can basically reload this gun in under 1.3 seconds, or if you're using a premium consumable and you're using the advanced loader, you can get it down to a 0 0.08 second reload, which is 1,300 no, it's uh, 13,500 DPM, if you set it up that way. But it's all about the timing that you have with swapping rounds, which really, you can only click A and X so many times. Me, I'm running on an advanced gaming controller, so for me, it's a lot easier because I have all my buttons linked to uh, separate areas. It just makes it way faster. Now, if you're using an Elite controller and you got A linked to a button, this is going to be an absolute breeze if you're running around with your Becky Lynch or your Sinlac. Honestly, this is the most ridiculous thing that you can do. I've sent out a couple of messages. Hopefully this gets fixed on Tuesday. I'm kind of hoping this gets fixed. If it doesn't get fixed, though, um, yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of these on the field because I've alerted a lot of content creators to this. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to be sending in a couple of replays to Clone Guy. Maybe I might. It just depends. But... This is absolutely broken. This match, it's a little bit slower. I mean, it's the first two minutes of the match. We're up to 1,846 damage, 793 assisted, and taking the Sin Lack and playing a little bit more aggressive than normally what you would inside of a light tank. Just because this thing's DPM is absolutely through the roof right now. So getting in, circle a tank, you know, RB or R1. I don't know if I got that right. It might be R2. But just auto lock, drive in circles, and just focus on tapping A or X, and just circle your opponents to death using the top speed of the Sinlac, combined with 
It's ridiculous DPM at the moment. I mean, just look at this. I feel abusive. Within the course of that minute going by, we went from whatever we were at up to 28.35. And just... I, I've had some better matches, but I don't feel like showing off my absolutely broken matches. Just because I've had a couple of games pop up where I had in the range of 7,000 damage dealt to 6,000 damage dealt. And if you, let's say you catch out a tier 10 on a side and he's not really paying too much attention, he's going to be having a really bad day. And it, it it's just fun. Dude, if you guys had the chance or whatever to be able to do this this weekend, I would say get on it, try it, have some fun. Uh, don't flood the matchmaker with Sinlax, please. Um, more than likely, I'm not going to be playing this weekend because of this tank. <laughs> it's You see this thing out in the field and it's just going to be absolute memes the entire time. But getting into more of a depth. Talking about super testing. This is one of those tanks that, you know, you would think would have gotten tested every single update because it has separate re reloads. And with the advanced reloader, rather than having intuition where you should be able to, you know, swap shells and not be able to swap freely. I think being able to swap freely is a really bad idea. And this is why I'm able to swap shells without any penalty to my reload. And I'm able to you know, abuse this mechanic as much as I can. Now, if it was set up any other way, or if it had like a 2.5 second interclip reload, which it should have a 2.5 second interclip reload, it should not be just you tap and you reload. Tapping and reloading, in my opinion, you can abuse this system like no other. They need to fix the advanced reloader and give it a timer to indicate your next shell loading in or to remove it from the game entirely and bring back the skill intuition but with a piece of equipment and them it doesn't seem like they really tested this too much or the testers didn't think about this because they already tested it beforehand but each time you do like a rework on a game or you change a few things and change how some stuff works, it's always nice to go back and go through some tanks and categories and do separate builds and do testing on them. Especially if they have two separate reloads based upon a shell type, which there is no other tank in the game that has this. The Sinlac is the only one. So for me, it kind of boggles my mind to think that this was kind of overlooked and it came into the game in this state also tells you guys how effective the Cold War updates are. Thumbs up on balancing, guys. But this isn't really game-breaking compared to, like, let's say if this was on, like, a heavy tank, that would be game-breaking. But since it's a light tank, you only have a 1,000 hit points, it's not as game-breaking. But that could also be really kind of hard to counteract, especially if you're at the very start of the match. You know, right here, we're just abusing this poor little tortoise off in the distance there with nothing but premium. And slowly, but surely, trying to land as many shards, shots as we can. Already getting up to 1,308 damage within the first 50 seconds of the match. That is absolutely redonkulous, being able to get up there and just do that. And potentially bring a tier 9 middle tier inside this class, a tier higher than what the Sin like is, down to half health within the first minute. Honestly, it's like, I think artillery's worse, but then I think about the sin lack and the way this is put up. I, I don't know. If I'm getting rushed in the face by a tank like this and I die by it, I don't feel as bad as whenever I get hit for a thousand damage by artillery. But, right now, playing this tank has made me laugh extremely hard, because I've, I've never... I've experienced a couple of glitches in this game, and they, they've been getting worse and worse and worse. And this, this is not a glitch. And in my personal opinion, you cannot get banned because of this. The reason why you cannot get banned because of this is it's a mistake they made. So it's a mistake they need to fix. You should not be getting getting punished for this at all. So if you guys have the chance to be able to take this out, go nuts, do it. It's redonkulous. Other than that, I don't know. 
I really don't. Honestly, I was kind of looking forward to making this just because it's super meme -y. There's moments that you're going to be messing up with your reload and everything else. So the best way to do is like your indicator off in the distance there. If it's white, you probably have high explosives still loaded, so swap back. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The rate of fire, the DPM, especially with um, the actual PC variants of this tank, it'll, it's only got 45 rounds. And yet, console, rather than giving us 45 rounds, they gave us a grenade launcher, and they thought the best way to do that is taking it from 45 and giving us 170 rounds. You see, if this tank would have only had 45 rounds, and you were able to do this, you would run out of ammo extremely fast, and it would not be as usable, just because it, yeah, it's, it wouldn't be as usable at all. You wouldn't have enough ammo to really get anything done. But since you have 170 rounds, yeah, You've got a lot of damage potential inside this tank. With 46 rounds a minute at 180 damage a pop. It feels a little bit broken. So. I really don't know what else to say about this. Except for. War gaming. Good job. Absolutely great job. It's like you, you guys anymore make me laugh. I don't know what else to say about that. But balancing is a real big part about a game. Super testing is a real big part about a game, especially a competitive multiplayer game. That every single tank, every single thing that you use has got a different aspect. They perform differently. Testing is something that needs to be done. It should not be this. Something like this should not be reaching public queues ever. This should be caught in super testing and fixed immediately before even considered to be released into the game or updated so if one piece of equipment is acting like this it should be fixed immediately there should not be any weight to anything like this it should have been caught the second it started well not really the second you know super testing but with if you have let's say 120 super testers so four lobbies four consistent matches going on every single 15 minutes every single 10 minutes you should be running a different build and just trying to see what's broken. And then, you know, your first week of super testing, that's how it should be. After that, you should be more focused on, you know, like, what, what tanks are overperforming? Why are they overperforming? Is there a way that we can work with this to try and make it not overperform as much? So they get, like, nothing but super unicums inside of a test lobby and have them pull out a couple of tanks and just verse each other and see which ones aren't really coming up to the stepping stone and which ones are overperforming a lot and you know depending on the player that's inside the tank can really determine how the tank's going to be played so to not really have one person play the tank by itself but to have with your four teams going at this your 120 players you swap it around and then you take a look at the statistics after that so let's say you put 50 matches in over the course of uh two weeks and you're looking at the statistics of that tank, which ones were overperforming, what was their ammo loadout, how are they put together, what positions on the map were they taking, and trying to work it out from there. Because every once in a while, it's not just a tank that's, you know, performing really good. It's also positions on maps that can be highly effective that's, you know, making a bigger impact in the game as well. Now, there's not really much to go over. Because it is what it is right now, but super testing, I would love to be a part of it. You guys have no idea. I would go nuts as I die to a T100 LT, but immediately after, he gets shut down for 275. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say about this, except for, I think it's a little bit broken. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. You have no idea how funny it was to pull this thing out and be like, okay, what's going on with this? Because I, I saw um, a video a little while back of this, and I sat there, I'm like, it's been a while since I've tested it. I gotta go check this out and see what it's like. And I did. And immediately after, I was like, dude, this is absolutely redonkulous. I laughed so hard that it hurt. And I didn't know what to do about that. It just... It brought a tear to my eye. Not just that, if you take this tank out with nothing but standard rounds, 
I was making on average like 150,000 a match, even up against tens. Because if we get on the side of a tier 10, he's going to fire once, have a nine second, eight second reload. And in that time, you're going to put five or six shells into him. So you're, you pretty much got a better DPM than any 10 in the game. And just depending on what you want to do, go nuts, enjoy this. If you guys like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you don't like the video, well, there's a dislike button for a reason. Other than that, please don't focus me out if you see me on the field and you're sin lack, because that's just going to give me a bad day and make me regret uploading this. I, I wanted to hold off, but I guess I'm not. I'm full sending it and saying, guys, enjoy this. Go nuts and be gentle.